Uh, this morning, folks, I've been joined in the studios by Godwin Odey JB. Um, he is the head of the 2021 census data analysis. So when all is said and done, there's someone who must analyze the data. I mean, data is just raw information. The information ought to be processed. I mean, data ought to be processed to become consumable information. And that's where he sits. He is heading the 2021 uh, population uh, census data analysis. Godwin. Hello. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Good to see you. It's I think um, at some point we spoke just over the telephone. Exactly. Now we are seeing face to face. Chill. Good to see you. Um, right. Let's start from a, a, a more umbrella point before we come to some of the very nuanced conversations my colleague here is introducing. So generally, the 2021 population census, how would you describe it? Well, uh, in the first place, mm. let me thank uh, Xylophone Media for continuously uh, following the census program mm. yes prior to the uh, actual counting you were you made follow-ups mm. and mm. equally yeah now that the census is over mm. um you are still following to know what activities we have for the post census uh program right so yeah thank you i think it's a it's a plus right um it's been a successful uh census activities mm. uh census uh, is very huge and uh getting to this point where if you uh listen to the government station professor enim made mention that yes uh as of that last week we've uh reached uh a percentage of 99.4 that we've counted the population there are still uh pockets sp specifically uh, in eight districts in Greater Accra, where we are making follow-ups. Okay. So officially, uh, data collection has ended, mm. but where there are pockets, mm. we we are still mobilizing to do to, some mop up. Yes, to patch up. Okay. So that we ensure that because the whole thing is that uh, uh, we have to uh, achieve complete coverage, mm. meaning that all persons who spend the census night uh, on the twenty-seventh of june mm. uh should be enumerated mm. and that is exactly what ghana statistical service is doing mm. it's been successful because uh this is the first time we're using uh, uh digital means meaning that we're using uh tablet to uh collect the information mm. and then after the data collection the uh, the data is, is transferred, transferred to the central point okay where we have to process so uh within a uh, short time compared to uh the previous censuses mm. we're going to have uh, our report soon i see so we have covered about 99.4 percent of the population yes so we have just some deficit of 0.6 percent sure i see that's interesting what were some of the challenges in i mean you have faced i mean we've heard of some but i mean you were on the ground you are uh, the man on the ground so what are some of the challenges you faced in this year's population census yeah basically you know uh ghana society is becoming sophisticated mm. and for that matter uh sometimes difficult to meet some of the people at home okay you knock you will not get that person mm. and also uh, uh these gated communities mm. you have to work your way out before you you, you reach out to them mm. difficult getting and then also in some uh localities uh boundary issue but uh two uh district uh lemming uh claim to particular localities mm. and for that matter uh you don't know where exactly really to place yes them. so all this thing uh we then have to go sit down with the affected uh district mm. and then we uh work out so that at the, uh, at the end of the day we make sure we enumerate and in, in doing so you know uh it disrupts your your, your program mm. but you know yes we've been able to uh work those things out for mm. the parties involved to agree for amicable solution and that paved way for the smooth enumeration of the uh, the population in those communities right now when i heard about the fact that about 99.4 percent of the population has been counted i was wondering how you got that data because at the point you didn't even know the total number of people who are supposed to be counted so how then do you know that those we've counted so far make up um you know 99. Four percent. How? How? I mean, you are a statistician. Yes, you how, know, how um, we have estimates, 
and apart from that prior to the the actual enumeration we did a listing of households and then the structures okay so this gave us some sort of uh, idea mm. which we used as as a standard and okay. that is what we we we, we follow in okay. and whatever the information we are getting is also consistent with the estimate which we already did okay taking into consideration the 2010 population and housing census mm. so all this then gives you an idea as to the number you should expect well we also we also um heard that some people refused to be counted are there any legal ramifications if as a citizen i decide that in a population census i was not going to participate in there you know the oh, the conduct of the 2021 population and housing census um by law you know the ghana Statistical service law there is a law governing our activities mm -hmm. which has been passed and all this thing um it makes it that uh all person should get involved and um if you go contrary to that yes you're going to deal with the law mm. but then uh most of most of uh that is used as a as a last resort we go through negotiation we try to convince them mm. on the importance of mm. the activity which we are undertaking and the need for them to uh be part of it so uh yes we have the law but we use as a last resort. last resort right now um what what options are available to someone who has not been counted for myself for example i haven't been counted and that's also i think partly due to my very busy schedules i'm a morning show host i'll leave the home uh, very early at dawn i go back home very late and i'm uh, once i get home i'm not sure that there are any enumerators around counting what options are available to us is there a way where we can say okay hello i haven't been counted do i walk anywhere and say look can you count me or what options are available to 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 me or and persons like me yes uh we have uh, uh <coughs> options like um like um if you were able to tell us um your structure number during the listing period the enumerators went to all structures place uh unique numbers there if you are able to tell us the the structure number i will be able and then the district where you are residing mm. i will be able to know the the enumeration area number okay as well as the structure number so knowing the enumerate enumeration area number i would know the exact enumerator who uh, is supposed, supposed to, to okay. cover your area okay so once you are able to provide these uh numbers written on your structure to us you, uh we will quickly mobilize our officers to go there mm -hmm. and then we, we we do that okay now there were also some allegations um about some of your officers and platforms like this are very important so we exactly we refute or confirm some of these issues so we put some clarity in the minds of, of of the Ghanaian that some of the officers don't actually count people they sit in the comfort of whatever places they are and they cook up some of these um you know numbers and because they don't want to roam around has any of such allegation come to your attention no so far we've not received anything of that sort okay yes but we also encouraging the populace if they know anybody mm. who did that mm. if they can point out we can move straight to that mm. person because mm. uh if you do that um, it's not good it's, right. uh, because uh you know the data is very important right. and that is what we're going to use the data to plan so mm. if you cook information no mm. that is against the law okay now wh was there any mechanism you as an institution put in place to forestall some of these things knowing that these are humans who are going to be engaging in these activities what yes, sort def of definitely mm. if you misclassify or you wrongfully enter in the data consistently mm. Mm. yes the data will show and we are doing the validation to find out all those things and it's part of the work of the census mm. where we, we validate the data or we see a kind of uh uh responses uh uh which you've been it's follow a trend mm. yes when we do that we you know that is the reason why when we were uh picking the information we pick the contact of the of the household members okay so exactly if we see any uh, inconsistency yes, we 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 call definitely uh, back to the household mm. and to uh to, to find out 
whatever uh, transpired between the household and the enumerator. Mm. Folks, it's about some 20 minutes after the hour of 8. Uh, this is the Monday's edition of the Statecraft here on Xylophone 102.1 FM. We're also live on Xylophone TV and also on the Facebook platform. You can follow us as well on Xylophone 102.1 FM. I've been joined in the studio by uh, Godwin Odey JB. He is the head of the 2021 population census data analysis to be specific. Um, so he's the one who's going to be analyzing all the data we need and so on and so forth and he's been telling us about how the population census went in general he's been giving us some very general picture of what happened and also helping us uh you know get some in insight into how they arrived at some of the figures and so on and so forth now let me come back to you um one of the discussions that have engulfed this whole population census and i'm sure had posed some form of difficulty to you as uh, an institution is people asking what exactly is this census going to be used for we are hungry we don't have jobs we don't have good roads we don't have uh, you know hospitals we don't have proper schools our children are still going to school under trees and so on and so forth what is this population census going to be used for and that posed some form of difficulty for some of your officials who went out there to you know do genuinely do their work what would you what would be your response to this question i think i uh, proud to the census uh we enumerated the uses of the census data, which is very key. Uh, you know, this is not the first time to get us discuss service uh, is conducting a population and housing census. Even way back to the colonial period in 1891, we're having uh, censuses up to 1948. Then uh, the, when we had independence, 1960, 1970, 84, 2000, 2010, uh, we had census. And then in addition to this particular one, you know, uh, this is what we've been using to plan. So right from day one, we involved the, the local government. So when you go to every district, mm. we have the, the district uh, census implementation committee. I see. Being headed by the coordinating director. So this shows the kind of involvement that we involve the, 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 the assemble mm. because they are the implementing agencies right. so that they also appreciate the, the the need to use the, the data right so right from day one we got involved because the census is very useful mm -hmm. you cannot plan without data and you know the last time we took the census was, uh, was in 2010 right so 10 years down the line a lot would have changed yes we have to update our social demographic <laughs> characteristics we cannot use the 2010 uh one even if anything at all we just going to estimate mm -hmm. and if we estimate it we it we we can estimate well or not but then we pay the un uh this thing every 10 years all countries should conduct the census right. and that is exactly what ghana did mm. so uh we know the numbers for instance myself I, where i sit at the office mm. i receive all data requests and it's been tremendous a lot of people come you use the data yes they come mm. right from uh, uh policy makers right from researchers CSOs. students a lot they come so the the and the census is one kind of big time data mm. where uh people or, or data users use the data so they come in various forms so census very important we know our the demographic characteristics mm. how many males how many females and all this and have uh implications mm. what is the the age structure mm. Uh, do we have too many old uh, old people, old people? Do we have it too has many policy implication people? yes the average age exactly. and so on exactly mm. what is our school attendance mm. and when then the level literacy rate exactly mm. literacy are we able to read and write mm. and all those things then we also have information on uh, the uh, uh, fertility migration and then uh, mortality mm. you know when you look at the the population dynamics mm. you're talking to you take into consideration uh uh, uh the fertility mm -hmm. mortality how many people then, are coming in yes as new births exactly and how many people are dying 
plus mm. the the migration issue mm. so we were using uh, 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 the, the the mobility mm. to help estimate uh, issues relating to uh, migration mm. so in, those, intra yes. international yes we, we have the yes we have uh, the, the, the the internal migration mm. we have the international one right. even this uh, 2021 population and housing census we ask households who uh used to be with uh former household members and then they and moved out left. okay yes we are using all this thing to uh to 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 c compute out uh this uh, uh emigration mm. and then we also look at even those who have emigrated what mm. was the main reason why uh they left mm. and all those things the reasons that are accounted exactly. for their departure yes. so then um uh, we have if, if you know in this time we have in population and housing so we have a series of questions on uh, 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 uh housing conditions okay the households where are they living mm. what is the condition what type of uh dwelling are they living in how many rooms do they occupy in order so all these things have to uh compute the occupancy rate you know in that order so um we have uh, a lot for the census Hello. So, I mean, he's been talking about the collaboration that happens between the Ghana Statistical Service and the policy implementers, uh, the, the basic unit of the policy implementers who obviously are the assemblies, uh, who are, uh, I mean, the decent, in the decentralized gov government structure, they are, they are the eyes of the president on the ground. Uh, does that satisfy your discussion you're having earlier? Uh, well, uh, let me uh, thank uh, Godwin for uh, some very good education. Of mm. course, he's filled some missing pages mm. uh, in my notes, and I appreciate him for for that. <laughs> but then again, for the assemblies, my understanding is that uh, they help the GSS to also appreciate the kind of work they do and sometimes even assist them in probably collecting the data if that is right or probably implement the data but if you look at the district assembly structure you will find that they take command from the ministry of local government okay and also we have a national agency in charge of development planning uh, I, I i want to ask godwin to what extent is the ministry at the top who are the ones who formulate policy because the assemblies do not formulate policies and even the kind of policies they formulate are in very soft areas they don't formulate policies on finance they don't formulate policies on even infrastructure they don't formulate policies on hardcore issues so if you bypass the ministry and you bypass the national development planning commission and you work with the district assemblies who do not formulate their own policies but they implement does not not in any way uh, sort of short change you in 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 your own work no possibly if you listen to me carefully i made mention of the local government meaning that from the top we are involving all such uh, uh categories of the uh stakeholders you know at the at the at the, at the peak we have the the steering committee which involve key agencies including the uh, the local government uh, ministry they are totally involved we can never do this thing because when we go to the district who are we going to contact definitely we got uh, uh, what is called the green light from the from the from the ministry before we will be able to get into the the various local government we can never do that and then also um, all the the coordinating directors we had series of uh meetings uh with them including the the ministry of the local government so they are right from day one they are basically uh involved in the uh, implementation of the census activities yeah uh, well uh, no but you see we for me my my main issue just like we've, we've been having uh the go out this morning is even not about the counting the counting has been done but from all the observation that i have made personally as a researcher you would find that lots of our government agencies do not use our census data is, is, is this something that has come to your attention or it is really not gss's own problem to ensure that if the data has been collected by your outfit then it behoves on uh, the next agency to use it yes uh, our before uh everything you know uh i know 
uh, all the key stakeholders, the ministry, they've been using the data. You cannot develop any policy without data. So where are they going to get the data? It's from the Ghana Statistical Service. And Ghana Statistical Service is the, the official, they produce the official uh, statistics. So they cannot bypass the statistical service and use any other data. So an indication that in all the ministry, they all have policies. Once even, even developing the, uh, the, the, the policy, the background and all those, you need the, the population data. So that is what they have been uh, using. So, for example, as I was uh, at the at the reception, uh, there were issues uh, that uh, Ghana Statistical Service they've been having conflict with World Bank and others. No, we've not been having any uh, conflict as far as uh, our data uh, is concerned. Thanks. Conflicting data. Yes, yes yeah. conflicting data. Yes. That, that's, what, that's what, what Ghana Statistical Service produces is different from this thing. For, uh, for example. Uh, uh, they all pick information from the Ghana Statistical Service. So there's no kind of uh, uh, issues relating to we producing uh, data which is different from what they are producing. Mm. If you look around, is there any organization uh, who have conducted census in Ghana? It's only Ghana Statistical Service. So are you trusting uh, what people are producing compared to what we, we produce? Look at the work we've done in the census. For over four years, we were planning. We were demarcating the country into smaller units. Mm. And that yielded for over 51,000 enumeration areas. And all those things, we, uh, we developed the questionnaires. We, have you seen any organization doing that? So how would you say that even though this organization, I've never seen them, but then I, 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 I rather trust their data to those that I have seen them implement. Also, I think Alon just didn't mention just any organization. He no. spoke specific, specifically, I beg your pardon, about the World Bank. And Alon, you might well, want yeah, to do some I, clarity. I, I, I need to come in here. Before the 2020 census, the World Bank has been putting out Ghana's population at around 30 million. Is that a figure that is available to the Ghana Statistical Service even before the 2020 population census? That's one. And number two, when it comes to, for instance, migration data, I work in migration, and the data that is copiously cited is the IMO, International IOM, I beg your pardon, International Organization for Migration, even when it concerns internal migration. Is that to suggest that they also pick their data? from the Ghana Statistical Service and they don't do their own independent uh, survey? Right. Uh, let me pick it from the... Yes, we, we, we... After the 2010 population and housing census, we estimate the population. Yes, so all the information which is available uh, from the Ghana Statistical Service because uh, uh, going into the census, we've, we've, we've done our estimate that... Uh, we, we we have a, a particular number of uh people we've estimated we you know after census we estimate for each year because census is 10 years and for that matter you cannot do that so you need to do the estimates so all these estimates are there and they are not different from what other organization because they pick the information from the ghana statistical service then uh, for example the iom iom uh i work with them directly and all the information concerning the census, I provide that information to IOM. So I don't see where IOM is going to get any data which is different from ours. You know, the when you talk of migration, migration, the bulk of migration data emanates from administrative sources. For Ghana Statistical Service, we will be able to provide uh, information of which the questions we ask from the census. Like as I said, using the place of birth, uh, nationality, and then also uh, duration of stay in a particular uh, community or something that sort will help us to uh, 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 provide information on uh, migration or for that matter on mobility. So yes, we work closely with uh, IOM, except if IOM is using data which is administrative uh, sources. But uh, Godwin, the, you see, the problem is that, or the issue is that if you comb a lot of the documents, it is very difficult. And these people don't cite. Uh, yeah, that's it. They yeah, don't that, cite the Ghana statistics. And that is the service. thing. If you quote a lot of documents, mm. the sources of all of these data, World Bank, IOM, 
the EU. These are the data that you would find in a lot of tests. So, so, so I think that, but I now mm. he is saying that it is the GSS that provides this yeah. data to these people, yeah. which is the primary provider of the data, yeah. which should be sourced, which should be so referenced. But it is, it is rare to find GSS data cited in the books. It is very difficult. Mm. It is easy. Even if you do your own search engine optimization and you, you look for these data, the ones that would appear, are, the, are these ones, when it comes to migration, nobody cites the GSS. It is the IOM. And sometimes even the European Union. And I'm saying that for the past three, two, three years, it is a World Bank data estimates on population. Now he's saying that since 2010, they had estimated. But is the 30 million population available to the GSS? And if it is there, is it available for anyone to look for or say that okay it is a gss that has projected our population will be 30 million mm. and if out of this counting are we sure that the gss will provide us with a 30 million population so this is not to antagonize the work that the ghana statistical service does indeed we are only trying to help them to put out this information out more so that we know that indeed they are, so, they are taking control no, the organizations are not feeding from the kind of work that they are doing mm. Mm. um they are really picking our information okay except if it's administrative data okay so you should check the this thing you should check the iom data that basically what they produce is uh administrative data mm. where it involves uh, census information. Mm. Yes, they come to Ghana Statistical Service and okay. we provide the information okay. for them. And as I said, you know, the bulk of migration data emanates from administrative sources, mm. which is not from Ghana Statistical Service. Mm. So I think that, God, one of the things we can do to protect our own, because I mean, we are Ghanaians, so we, we have to protect our own, is to maybe look at some some contractual agreements with these people when you share the data with them, where they must properly cite you, so that if people like Elon, myself, we feed on information and they quote their data we know that they're actually outsourcing they are actually sourcing that particular data from the because one of the things you want to do you don't want to do is to engage in any intellectual theft where the ghana statistical service gets its own data you come and source the data and you pretend and put the data out as though it is your own data you know yes so for example um in the 2010 population and housing census we first uh, came out with a provisional resource. From then, we we did the the summary results of the final data. Mm. From then, then we produced the uh, the national analytical report. F after the national analytical report, we produced ten uh, regional report. So at then by that time, we're, we're having the ten regions. From then, we move on to uh, the district. Each district had its own uh, report. So we were able to produce 216 uh, reports. Then apart from that, we also developed uh, 10 uh, thematic reports. So, and all these things um, have been circulated. They are available on Ghana Statistical Service uh, website, even including the, uh, the population uh, projections. They are right there at our website. If you go to Ghana Statistical Service website right now, when once you you go there you should be able to know the the population for 2021 that is the estimated one and we have the 2010 the 2021 you go there the estimated figure is there for you to to know so we, we the, the information is available to the general public to use well uh are there any concluding i i noticed you have some notes there are there any concluding remarks you want to make yes what i Want to indicate that uh, Ghana Statistical Service, uh, we thank the the key stakeholders who help in implementing the census activities. And then we also thank the the general public mm. for their total uh, cooperation. Without them, it will be difficult for us to do our work. And now that uh, the census is over. The next stage is for us to do the analysis because the most important thing is for you to make sure that you you produce the the report for policymakers researchers 
uh, the general public and those who making uh, requests to use the the data for planning and implementation of uh, programs. Mm. Are there any projections yet for the new uh, population census? Are there any projections? For that one, we normally leave it to one person, our, uh, the ah, government statistician, to do the, yes, okay. to do the, the okay. final decision. Okay. He is the only person who okay. should come out with the, the, okay. the, the results. But analysis are ongoing now, or they are done? No, we are now putting our, 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 our the, the, the information together. Okay. Then okay. We, we come now out. Now doing the codings and all of that. Sure. Okay. Right. All right, folks, um, that was um, our very uh, own resource person this morning, engaging us in, you know, some very useful conversations on data, population, census, and so on and so forth. And he's Godwin Odey JB. He is the head of the 2021 census data analysis. Elam, you have any concluding remarks? Oh, yeah, uh, just uh, what I've been saying, mm. uh, especially what uh, the GSS must do mm. to bridge or to ensure and also to help other organizations to ensure that they use the data. And no, to be very frank, if you look at how plans are determined around, you certainly know that this data is not used mm. because we still have uh, some deficit in all the statistical ratios, mm. the, the, the nurse to doctor ratio, mm. teacher to student ratio, police to citizen ratio, and we are falling short of the UN standards. Mm. So if indeed this data is available, so the question could be, is it that the government is constrained mm. resource-wise? To, to implement the... Uh -huh. the, the, what the so that could be, mm. that could be, or is it that they just don't use the data? At all. At all. Okay. Okay. And you see, I continuously have a problem when you are, when the president reads state of the nation addresses and they are making copious references to these organizations I'm mentioning instead of the GSS. Mm. Then you would wonder. Because this is the president of your country. Yeah. The one who, 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 has who, who, who is uh, superintending ah, no, the in this country that we be world economic flow statistics are used on Ghanaian issues. And the GSS is there. I recently finished a work on gender. In our parliament and the data i use copiously is the world economic forum i don't know whether the world economic forum also comes to the ghana statistical service and pick the data and make it this if that is what they do then also that is what intellectual dishonesty mm. that's and that is my problem because I, i've already intimated that when it comes to livelihood service and all of that i use the gss data and it is so and, and i like the rich mm. The fact that they are so expansive, they, they, they come in Yes, It's in depth. And I know some of the guys they even use sometimes. Some of the, my guys at ISE sometimes work for the GSS. Very top sharp guys. Statistical service and, and they are good with the software. So I know what they can do when it comes to livelihood service. I was just telling you about their work on birth registration. Mm. It is so good. And you would love what they, do, they, they did in there. So if... I know that I can get migration data from. I never knew because I work in migration, and I have to I, all, pick any migration work. You would find IOM data littering the entire work. Another migration work, the European Union, and he he uh, Gordon is saying that they work with the EU. It is their data which is out there. Listen to the finance minister. Listen to the president when the world bank estimates that yeah and the imf estimates that you listen to these things yeah state That's of the true. nation address national budgets and all of that yeah. why not even flaws on the floor Poly of yes. and and the world on covid 19 mm. and economic recovery mm. the data which is copiously cited is the world economic forum mm. every time when i recount the global trot here it is world economic forum data i get i keep getting even on vaccines even on resuscitation of african economies where economies are likely to begin to do well across the world the post-covid economy. Post economy it is a world economic forum even when it comes to skills that the african that the ghanaian have it is all of these organizations so if it is the case that they come here and go to the ghana statistical service get the data they don't credit the source they make it this then it is problematic yeah. and i'm sad about it yeah and that is why i keep calling for proactiveness of the ghana statistical service mm. because listening to uh, i guess it sounds very experienced yeah 
and he's really on top of his issues and he understands what he's saying and i don't doubt it at all that because i know that you, you will not spend that much money moving across the country to be collecting data yeah they will certainly come to a pool or a database mm-hmm. where they can fetch that and appropriate it it's a big problem then the GSS doesn't get any credit at all at the end of the day. Yeah, and your own presidents and ministers and they, they don't cite uh, them. You know, political yes, celebrities uh, don't cite them. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. tell us, tell us. For Ghana has been credited with this impact of on the the, the COVID, mm. and during the COVID period, we did series of work, and it has it is a plus for Ghana that we were able to undertake such a uh, kind of uh, uh, initiative mm. to look at the, the the impact of the COVID-19 on the economy. So so this is what Ghana Statistical Service did. We, we, said we, we did about three different uh, kind of uh, uh, data collection in this area, which the reports were out. And all over the world, people are praising Ghana. So uh, possibly maybe he doesn't know that we have this information over there or we did something on on, on covid 19. then uh, for uh, the the on migration uh you know the first time uh, we did uh, uh 2006 there was a migration profile yeah. of ghana yeah then we updated it in 2009 when you take the the ghana migration profile the information the the bulk of it emanates from the census work then the other uh, administrative data also in 2017 we updated the migration profile and all these things we did it with the the IOM with support from you and all those things so uh we've been working together yeah. because in, i've in, personally in, seen yeah. is it that is 2015 national migration policy mm, or is it 2015 2017, it's 2017 i have yes. seen so we have those migration uh, profile and i, see, and I, I will, even know yes i was a member of the that that committee GSS which was involved we, 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 we did that with iom and then other uh key stakeholders and then with the people are feeling off your sweat to conclude yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, yes they be, if you look to, uh if you take those uh, documents you will see the mm. ganas task service mm. all those things mm. yeah so yeah um for example the, he also mentioned the gender this thing it's on the gender i don't know the kind of data he's talking about so if he can be specific then we know that this information is coming from the service well so what we'll do here. henceforth i mean now that we have built this relationship with you would be in touch sure. a lot of the times and most of the data we should be using yeah. here should be the gss's yes, own data right. our own way of contributing to your reputation and contributing to the work you're doing you know and uh, obviously consuming our very own and uh, that's the problem we find and i'm sure once we bring this problem to your attention you would also do something about it. let me read some messages that are coming in uh this one says good morning mr nichiga and your crew of the statecraft as for this talibans afghanistan sometimes you wonder what kind of uh, god they are fighting for they always try to make you feel like uh, anyone outside believe anyone outside believe is useless and this is eating into the minds of some muslims in ghana could you believe that a man told me that you are not supposed to pray for someone who is not a muslim uh, thanks for the great job. Amidu from Asamankesi sent that one in and he says, uh, Mr. Nichigan, you have uh, asked a very important question. Though. After the census, what next? We are only interested in knowing the total number of people living in the country, which is not supposed to be the only reason for population census. My regards to Elom and Samira, you sent that one in. Um, I read some more messages that are coming in. This one says, Good morning, my people. I'm always glued to your program. This year's census, I would say it purposely for the COVID-19 vaccination so that they will get the right number of people that will be vaccinated. No, 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 no. Please, some of these fake news, uh, stop sharing them. Says, let me divert. Why not throw away the vaccination card after fully vaccinated, but rather keep it? Uh, it is going to be some sort of license. Yeah, of course. Um, if you're going to travel to some countries, you need a vaccination license. All right. He says, critical thinking. I have not been counted. I work as a night security so i live home at 6 a.m uh i don't really go out always i'm always indoors bro no one knocked on my door let's watch out okay sariki send that one in um thanks so much for contributing to the show some more messages that are coming in here 
on facebook let me go on our facebook platform now this one is from jean banyu he says good morning noah i am watching you live from pokwasi all right special good morning to all of the people inside pokwasi uh, this one says good morning statecraft and welcome back elam daybreak africa and i am control don yaro send that one in um uh, uh this one says good morning i'm watching you live from Buti near angloga inside the volta region all right lecho 1gh send that one in thanks so much and a special good morning to all of the people of Buti. uh this one is this one says uh this is from xbk mickey he says good morning noel i am mickey from wager nanado must hear the voice of the people and not only focus on his manifestos because ghana belongs to us all thank you for sending in that message as well and a host of other messages that are coming in